it is um, 6.30 in the morning and I am flying to LA today. So I'm quickly just doing a little bit of skincare before the flight. I kind of, um, my skin, oh, I always feel like on an airplane my skin gets so bad. Um, but I still load it up with product even though I have quite greasy skin. Um, and then I was gonna wash my hair, but I'm actually just gonna wash the front of my fringe and redo it and then leave the rest of my hair because I always feel gross on an airplane. It feels so dirty. So I think I'm just gonna wash my hair when I get to LA. Also, because of the time difference, when I get there, I'm gonna be so tired. So I feel like a shower and like washing my hair will wake me up. Um, Cause I'm gonna have to really try and adjust to the time difference. It's eight hours. It's quite a long time. Anyway, I'm still like, I feel much better, but I've got like still congestion. <laughs> so I need to buy some tissues. And I also want to get some nail files so that I can sort my nails out because they're all kind of different lengths and looking a bit crother. Um, right. <laughs> Time to sort out my fringe. Um, I actually think I'm going to wash it with a bit of shampoo. Just because <laughs> I get really stressed out when the front of my fringe is feeling really gross. So, okay, probably should have done that before I did my skincare because now my face is a bit wet, but whatever, we move. A little towel dry. Okay. Now I'm going to blow dry it. Okay, that is gonna have to do. And then the rest of my hair, I think I'm just gonna leave it in a ponytail. It's probably very antisocial to be blow drying my hair at 6.30 on a fucking Sunday morning. My neighbors are like, what the hell? Pitch, Oscar. Hello, boy. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna miss this guy. I wish I could take him with me. We have the best cuddles in the morning. Hey. Hi. Where's mummy coming, huh? <laughs> oh, that was very cute. Right. So I am actually really tempted. I wanted to wear jeans for my trip but I actually might um I might pack my trackies in my bag and change into them on the plane oh I don't know decisions decisions what should I do hey Paige what should I do oh my god I love this dog so much okay okay this belt some deodorant oh, and then I've got a pair of socks in my bag so that if I want to take my shoes off on the flight which I obviously will I've got socks to put on underneath um, and I think that is the look and I've got my big bag um, so yeah I'm taking two suitcases because I plan on bringing loads of stuff back um, like one of my favorite cereals in the whole world you can't get it in the UK and I love it. It's called Honey Grahams. So I'll probably be bringing like two or three boxes of that back with me. Anyway, I'm going to close this up and then we'll head to the airport. We're on our way to the airport. We've got Pooch with us. Cameron's very kindly driving me. Oh, look at that for a family portrait. <laughs> this is going to be my first time vlogging in public with a camera, so I feel nervous. But I guess you kind of just have to get on with it. Yeah, it's a bit of a miserable, miserable morning. Um, I don't know what the weather in LA is like. I think it's like 18 degrees, maybe Sunny 20. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> well, no, apparently they've had loads of rain recently. So hopefully when I get there, it's not raining. I'm gonna have a look now. What would you do if I came back with an American accent? 
<laughs> you know, it happened when I was younger. When we moved to Vienna, of all places, not even America, I went to a school that was really international and there were loads of American kids and I came out with an American accent. My family were like, so, like, they were so embarrassed and ashamed. I was, Stop speaking like that. No, highs of 22, sunshine every day. That is stunning. I'm really excited. Cool. I managed to wrangle myself and upgrade with my Avios points. This is me dancing. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna go into the lounge and record myself in there. The lounge hot food looked quite questionable, but all of the fresh yogurt and granola looked good, but I wasn't hungry yet. So I decided to go back outside and get all the things I needed. I don't know about you, but I'm one of those people who just loves being at the airport. I got there like three hours early pretty much. And yeah, I love it. I went to Boots first, got all of the things that I needed, dry shampoo and nail files, and then headed to WH Smith to get all my snacks. Got this kind bar and then I also got like some crisps and stuff. <coughs> okay, so I, I got really carried away shopping and I bought so many snacks. Um, obviously it's a really long flight and I get bored quite quickly, so it was essential. But also I have this huge bag because a huge travel bag is like an essential for me. And my arm is absolutely killing me. It's so heavy, but anyway, I got loads of snacks. I'll show you everything. May have been a bit naughty and got some new sunnies. I'll show you. Actually had my eye on these for a while. These are them. I love them. I think they're really cool. They have a little Prada emblem on the side. Oh, I forgot to say, I, so before we got our kitchen done, I, um, I ordered an American Express card so that I could get all the points on it. And um, so I paid for all of the kitchen on my American Express and then any other like big purchases I've paid on there. And with all of the Avios points, I've been able to upgrade. So your girl's sitting in club world. I can't wait. I'm gonna be able to be like fully horizontal, take naps, chill, and I am thrilled. I cannot wait. Guys, when I say I was so excited walking to the plane, I honestly was just the idea of laying horizontally for this 10 and a half hour flight was just giving me so much joy. Um, so anyway, I got on and then unloaded all of my stuff. I got some magazines to read and got all my snacks out and then had a look at the movie selection. I ordered a tomato juice, which is like my go-to aeroplane drink, and then started getting involved in the snacks. I watched that Priscilla movie, uh, reclined, had some popcorn, and yeah. Guys, we made it to LA. Um, I completely forgot to film the rest of my food on board. Um, but it was all very bang average. They, for my main course, they gave me like, um, they gave me this like curry that was just, it kind of tasted like, like ketchup. And then the dessert, I had some fruit, which actually was really nice. Um, and then for the second meal, it was like an aubergine salad. It was like aubergine on like hummus. And I just ate the hummus cause cold aubergine, I don't really enjoy the texture of. And then the main course was just like a giant baked sweet potato with like, again, like a ketchup -y sauce on it. It wasn't that nice, but anyway. Um, and then when we came, when we landed, I was way too scared to film anything because obviously everyone in America, like they sue people really, really easily. Freaking out that I was going to get sued if I was filming. And then I was stood in the, oh my God, the queue for customs was so long. We landed at two and I don't think I got out of the airport until like 3.30, it was ridiculous. Um, the queue was, it took so long. But anyway, when I was in the queue, they said like no pictures, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't get my camera out cause it would have been a bit bait. Um, but anyway, I got my bags, got a, a $121 Uber to my hotel, which I couldn't believe was the price. I have to order like an Uber XL basically. Otherwise you have to get like a shuttle. And obviously my phone, I wouldn't have had Wi-Fi, so I had to get this Uber XL. It was a really nice, like massive Escalade and the guy was super sweet. He was from Mexico and like, he was like pointing everything out to me. He was like, that's the Hollywood sign. That's the, the something arena where all the basketball gets played. I was like, wow, fair. And he was like, are you here for the Oscars? So I didn't realize the Oscars is happening like right now. 
Um, and apparently it's literally like down the road from where I'm staying. So also I got my hotel mixed up. I'm staying in Hollywood and I should be staying in West Hollywood. Um, so I'm transferring tomorrow, which was very sweet that they said that they would do that for me. Um, cause I was worried I was going to stay cause Hollywood, apparently it's like not that fun to like walk around for me being by myself. Whereas West Hollywood, like Melrose area, there's loads of cute coffee shops and stuff like that. So that's where I'm moving tomorrow. But I thought I'd give you a quick hotel room tour of the hotel I'm in now. Sorry, I've my stuff is just everywhere, but this is when you walk in, that's like this uh, little smeg minibar situation and this, which I'm so thrilled about, coffee. And then these are just like some very, some snacky bits. And then in here, it's just like some stuff and then up here I was like oh nice complimentary water and it's like if the lid is open you will automatically be charged good in here is the bathroom thing major to see and then there's a little sofa here and then... oh my god I'm so tired I'm gonna have to just force myself to stay awake and obviously had a shower and got straight in the robe because are you in a hotel if you're not in the robe um there's the room and then it's kind of cute like the vanity is just there which i don't know it kind of reminds me of university in a way having like the sink right where you sleep but yeah and then i'm on the ground floor i don't know if you can see but through there there's like a little pool area, which is cute. Um, they've given me a voucher for the bar so I could get one free drink if I wanted to. Oh, but honestly, all I wanna do is go to sleep. I'm so tired. My eyes, I feel like I look exhausted. And cause I've been blowing my nose loads cause I'm ill, it's really red under there. Um, but yeah, we're in LA baby.